Hi everyone, this is Bevan, and I'm on the lesbian tea basket. Um, this is my co-host Macy, who's going to help me introduce our tea today. Um, the tea that I'm reviewing, oh, no, Macy doesn't want, sorry, you know, talent. Um, so, Macy's not going to help us introduce the tea, but the tea today is Allegro's Roybus Vibrations. Um, so, I went to Whole Foods the other day on my way to a meeting, and, you know, like you do, because you're passing a Whole Foods and you're a lesbian. And so I went to the cafe in the Whole Foods and I bought tea because I thought, oh, well, I'll experiment with tea, right? Because part of my problem with buying teas is I don't know if it's going to taste good or if it's something I'm going to enjoy. So I was like, oh, I'll buy a tea and then I'll taste it during my meeting. And if I like it, I'll come back for it. And I got this great tea. It was like some sort of gingery, citrusy, magical party in my mouth. I loved it. It was really spicy too, which is um, not something that always happens in gingery teas. Um, so I came back to the Whole Foods afterwards to buy it and I was in their vast tea aisle and they did not have that tea available for purchase, which was so sad because um, I feel like that was a real opportunity for Whole Foods to have hooked a customer into the, buying their tea. It's not like I didn't buy tea. I still bought tea, but I had to take a gamble and I don't always like to take gambles with tea. I like to know what I'm buying. Um, but that's the thing about tea. There's so much out there. And they also explain teas. They give it rooibos vibrations. I don't know what the vibration is supposed to be. Is it supposed to be like a vibration in your soul? Or like, is it actually supposed to make you vibrate? I mean, it's caffeine free, but what else is in there? Um, so basically, I looked through the ingredients and it looked like, you know, rooibos tea, which is a tea I enjoy. Um, that's an African uh, red tea. And um, ginger, cinnamon, chai spice flavor, clove, I like clove, and black pepper, which I thought was an intriguing little addition. Um, and I'll say that today uh, I am enjoying this cup of rooibos vibrations. It's, um, it's you know, it's flavorful. It's, it's a little bit sweet naturally, but, like, it really packs a lot of... Um, I'm not just drinking hot waterness, you know, like it's, it's, it's got, um, I don't like a subtle tea. I like tea to be like, you are actually drinking something real. So it feels real. It tastes real. Um, it's got a nice, uh, complex flavor. Um, you can't taste the black pepper per se, but you can definitely like the clove is apparent. Um, ginger, not so much. It's not really spicy, but I do quite enjoy it. Now the box, um, talks about the origins of red tea, um, where it's grown in South Africa, um, that it's prized for centuries, um, and then um, how they've blended it for its full-bodied flavor. Um, Allegro is a little stingy with warming the soul. I mean, they didn't actually give me a quote or anything, you know, that was particularly touching about the box. But you know, I like a tea to both warm me physically and warm my soul. So. Um, a watcher of the Lesbian Tea Basket suggested I come up with some sort of rating system. So, I've decided to use the Labrys. And, um, I think I have a Labrys around here somewhere. In fact, I do. In my jewelry chest, here's my Labrys necklace. So that's what a Labrys is. Look it up. It's a symbol of my people, the lesbians. Um, the true lovers of tea parties. I will say that. Um, so I'm going to give this on a scale of one to five labri, five labri being, I guess, the best, um, you know, like the indigo girls of tea. Um, I would call this a three and a half labri. I would say that it, it's tasty. It warms me. It doesn't necessarily warm my soul, which I feel like is lacking, but otherwise it's a pretty solid tea. So thank you, um, Roybus Vibrations from Allegro Teas. Now, uh, a couple of people asked what my lesbian tea basket looks like. Well, <laughs> um, it looks like this. It looks like a basket with tea in it. Um, I got the idea to call it a lesbian tea basket um, when my mom, who's a lesbian also, uh, I came home from college one weekend and all of the tea had moved in her house to a basket on top of the fridge. And I was like, Mom, you have a lesbian tea basket. So then now ever since, like, since I was in college, I've always just kept my tea in a basket because I think it's hysterical to call it a lesbian tea basket. Especially also because as a lesbian, often my lesbian friends would come over and then I could present them with a basket of tea options. Because, you know, you can't just holler out from the kitchen unless you're Mackenzie and you only have three varieties of tea in your house. Again, no judgment. Um, but, you know, when you have a nice quantity of tea for your, your 
guests to look through. It's nice to present it with a basket. So that's the actual lesbian tea basket. I think a future episode of this little series is going to involve a crafternoon that might make it a little bit more gay. You know, stay tuned. Thanks so much, guys.